Hey everyone, today I'm going to do a reading talking about the upcoming 6-6 portal of light regarding our collective energy on the earth and how it may affect. Um, technically it's already started on the shadow side, maybe about four or five days. I'm a little late with this video, but um, for most it should be okay. Um, you do get two weeks shadow sides on the on the front end and back end of this as well. So it will go from, it's on 6-6, six, six, June 6th, okay? It's all about the sixes. <laughs> so you get an idea. Um, and I pulled us a few uh, oracle cards to kind of, you know, assist with this particular assessment. And a few pieces of advice from Goddess Isis as well. And I'll read from the books for the most part, with the exception of a couple. Um, this particular portal, um, June 6th is when it's happening. That's when it peaks and you have the shadow sides two weeks before and it'll end two weeks after on, is that June 20th? Yes. Okay. And of course it's overlapping with the new moon energies, the eclipse energies, as well as the retrograde energy, Mercury and a couple others. So I will also be doing some retrograde energy reading assessments as well as they come up. The next one I'm going to do is, I believe it's Saturn. Yes, yeah, Saturn retrograde in Aquarius, which starts on the 4th. So it's actually about the same time. I should be doing that tomorrow. <laughs> All right. So basically the 6-6 portal of light is an energetic gateway to expanded states of consciousness and connections to your soul family. All our soul family. Um, there's a huge surge in collective energy towards higher vibration in mass. And sixes represent unconditional love and higher frequencies and return to purpose. So it makes sense. It's also a time to step back and rethink how we are using thought to manifest. And if negative um, energy and thought happens, it does expose a lack of reality. It's time to, it's a time to reflect to reflect or refocus your thoughts, sort of recalibrate your approach, making those tweaks where needed, and reconnecting spiritually on a soul level so it manifests for a highest good in the tangible. Uh, this can also increase strength, courage, confidence, and a feeling of rising like a phoenix. It's good to work with tools and practices at this time that create um, that help cleanse, protect, offer love, motivation, energy block removal, soul memory healing, grounding, protection, new beginnings, self-worth, confidence, and awareness. Now would be a good time during this surge to practice a Merkaba or light body activation meditation to harness this light more effectively if you feel ready for it and your aura is on point. Um, really just cleanse and protect yourself because the aura gets cleansed and protected and all your chakras get in balance. That's how you do that. So if you haven't started doing that, start doing that every single day, if you can, every day. And then as you feel better, you can maybe upgrade with a Merkaba. Um, if not now, now would be a good time to raise that vibration and cleanse it up a bit and protect it and do some shadow work and resolving lessons that are pending as well. Okay. So the first card I pulled, we'll go ahead. First two cards we pulled was 32 growth from the New Orleans Oracle and 26 awakening. If I can get it to stay up there. Okay. Come on now. Be nice. Monkey, we need you. Hopefully it'll work. There we go. <laughs> 26, awakening. The experiences of a spiritual awakening can be as varied as life itself. For some, it's a series of seemingly random emotions. For others, it is a growing sensitivity to everyday events. And for many, it is simply having a desire to follow that which resonates with them in a higher vibration. There is no right or wrong way to go through this experience. You are only asked to remain as conscious and aware of yourself as possible so that you may properly support yourself in the best way possible. 
Look at it as stepping outside of yourself to observe yourself and your life as a movie that you get to co-create. Remember to ask yourself, how does this person, place, thing, or situation feel to me? Then allow yourself to proceed accordingly. Trusting yourself is of the utmost importance during this time, because the more that you feel you can trust yourself, the easier it is to stay in your flow for all that comes your way. Number 32, growth. You are growing to trust yourself more. You're becoming more aware of your intuitive feelings and guidance by allowing yourself the time and flexibility to acknowledge and honor these feelings. You are supporting yourself in having the most fulfilling life possible. Stopping to ask yourself how you feel about something as opposed to what you think about something can make all the difference. Sometimes what feels right may not be the next logical step, but inevitably it'll be what's for your highest good. Next up, I have pulled from the chakra reading cards by Char, Rochelle Sharman. We have 35, again, it's going to do that again. Can you see that? Let's stay up. There we go. Soul Healing, number 35 and 34, Universal Light. <laughs> okay. All right. We'll start with Universal Light. Soul Star Chakra. You have pulled this card today to remind you that you are always connected to and an extension of the powerful universal light of the cosmos. This light is what fuels your soul and gives birth to the stars. This light is divine, unconditional love at its purest. Sometimes you can feel disconnected and shut off from this light. However, in truth, you are an extension of and made up of this energy and can never be separate. This light loves, guides, and supports you at all times. You are being encouraged to focus on this divine connection to the cosmos and do what is required to deepen and awaken fully to this universal light. You may like to introduce meditation to your daily routine, attend a spiritual awakening event or workshop, work with some powerful breathing exercises, or even take up yoga to deepen your connection. Whatever you choose, make sure to action this connection to the universal light of the cosmos. As you awaken to this unconditional love, you will feel an abundance of wisdom, support, strength, and light within you and in your world. It will assist you to make clear decisions as you step towards your personal power. Your heart will expand with love as your soul heals, bringing you peace of mind and well-being in your world. This universal light of the universe loves you no matter what you have or haven't done in your life. It does not judge, and it is unconditional. It understands you at the deepest level. This light is you, your pure essence. Open your heart to receive the love of the universal light available to you at all times. You are an amazing, powerful being, and now it is time to be in your light. The affirmation on this card is, I am a divine channel of universal light. <clears throat> Number 35, Soul Healing, Soul Star Chakra. You have called upon this card today as, a deep soul as deep soul healing is at hand. Your soul is the all-powerful conscious aspect of your being and is currently undergoing a healing process. This awakening can sometimes stir things up in your life as it creates the change required to expand to a higher state of awareness. You are undergoing a rite of passage where the things that are not working in your life are being reviewed. Know that this chaos is a positive thing. It is what is required at this time. There is a divine order to this chaos and you are being asked to trust, listen, and action the loving guidance from your soul. Your soul holds the medicine for you to heal and knows what's best for you. It is a time of deep cleansing, and you are encouraged to let go of the old as you make way for the new. Soul healing allows for healing on all levels of your being, emotional, physical, spiritual, and mental, a complete cleansing on all levels, aspects, and states of being. Be very gentle and kind to yourself as you transit through this very powerful and important time. Be sure to nurture yourself through this process, giving yourself lots of love and care. Listen to the messages your body and soul are offering you and follow through on this guidance. 
amazing awakening is happening for you right now, and soon you will reap the rewards. Know that the process you are currently undergoing is a powerful injection of positive light from your soul as you heal deeply. The affirmation on this card, I am open to receive deep soul healing now and embrace the support of pure love to guide my healing journey. Up next, the ladies have something to say, and I'm going to try and put them all together. We have Spider Woman, Universal Connection. We have Parvati, Spirit. We have Mazu, Ascension. And let's see if we can scoochie, scoochie, scoochie. Yeah, it's not going to be a room. We have Asana Luhi. I'm going to put her right here. We'll read her first and I'll put her down, okay? Can you see her? Hi, Sister Rain. All right, here we go. Asana Luhi, origin Native American. You've been through a lot in your life lately and your heart may feel heavy. Let Esana Luhi, goddess of the sky and earth, help lift your weary spirit and renew it. Transformation is her specialty. It's time to take the lesson, release it, and say thank you next to this phase of your life. There we go. Now you can see them. Mazu, Ascension, Origin, Chinese. Just as goddess of the sea, Mazu, goes guide sailors home from rocky oceans. She's, she's guiding you to rise above the chaos of your life and situation to find your way back to your true self. <clears throat> Parvati, spirit, origin, Hindu. Loving goddess Parvati is strengthening your spirit. You've got the power to find the fight within yourself now and to keep rising. Spider Woman, Universal Connection, Origin, Native American. Spider Woman is connecting you to all the vital threads in the universe. Center yourself and tap into those connections within and above you. Remember that we're all connected through this universal energy. You are woven into this incredible fabric. And to represent our masculine, we have raw power, because you're going to need that strength and confidence, right? Know that you have the power and it is real. This card is an invitation to be your most vital self and develop your power from the inside out. <clears throat> Ra is the embodiment of power, creative power, solar power, power in leadership, and physical power. So powerful was Ra within the Egyptian pantheon that his identity was often combined and fused with other gods' identities. Pharaohs were known as sons of Ra, as a reference to their omnipotence, and all referred to Ra as to a father figure. Ra as a deity is an ancient one but not until the 4th and 5th dynasties did his cult grow to become one of the most commanding. It is then that the worship of Ra inspired huge building programs including temples, public spaces, pyramids, and tombs, with most of them aligned to the cycles of the sun. Beautiful and magical prayers, rites, and invocations of all kinds were created, practiced, and recorded. Many are still accessible today. One of the most recognized solar deities of almost any culture, Ra was the personification of the sun, in particular the setting sun as it travels beneath the underworld to again resurrect itself at dawn. The Egyptians knew how much their survival and that of all beings relied upon the blessings of the sun, and so Ra was an integral part of spiritual life. The mighty Ra calls you to power up and become fully alive. When we feel depleted or powerless, this is not honoring our birthright. True power is always a pure and good force. 
developing practices that enable us to increase our inner power, for example, meditation or spellcraft, can help us retain a good level of energy. This means we can feel empowered even under difficult circumstances. Ra also calls you outside to receive the blessing of the sun. We as humans need the sun's rays to set off essential chemical reactions in our body, such as the production of vitamin D. And without this, we can feel tired and even confused. And to finish this reading off, we've got three, I believe. Yes, from Isis. And I am feeling guided to start with that one. All right. There we go. Portal of light. It is only this physical reality that is bound by time and space. You are a conscious being on levels beyond the physical world. You are guided to work with your healing powers beyond the confines of time and space. You will not become ungrounded through such spiritual work. You are not leaving your earthly connection behind. You are merely adding to it. Come on, focus. There we go. See, and then as soon as I move, it gets all fuzzy again. Okay. The dark mysteries. The dark goddess calls you to her inner chamber where she holds a test and a gift for you. The test is your willingness to meet and release the fears within that have been secretly holding you back. The gift is freedom, peace, opportunity, and prosperity in all its forms. Will you accept her call? Your time for deeper initiation is here. And last but certainly not least, Chariot of Ascension, Merkabah. A spiritual practice has come or is soon coming to your attention that will help your soul journey. Take your time to develop and practice your chosen spiritual discipline regularly. This will help you grow in power and grace and anchoring the spiritual light within the body of your soul. Merkabah is also known as light body. So that's what I was talking about earlier about the activation that basically raises your frequency so high. And you should be able to weather this portal pretty well and harness its abilities and get through some of these retrogrades that are on the way. <laughs> All right, guys, there you go. Have a great one.